<laughs> Stop it. Hey, Plenty friends. Welcome back to another new Plenty video. Today, it's really going to be such an exciting day. This is already pre-filmed. Y'all, this location almost kind of scammed me, but like in the best way possible. Like, I'm probably using that word incorrectly. <sighs> All the plants, I believe, were 50% off. Sometimes Lowe's has a system glitch or they marked all their house plants without even bothering on putting a little mark or putting them on the clearance section. It could be one or the other, but I got these beautiful plants which you're gonna see at the Lowe's. We're also gonna go to Home Depot. All the locations will be in the description box below, by the way. And I was willing to pay the 16 bucks for it. I went to check out and I was already like late to go back inside it. Well, I, I was in a rush. Like, I would've gone back, but he said no. <laughs> which I'm happy he did. Cause I would've gone broke, broke. Like literally, they had so many beautiful house plants. As you're looking at the plants in Lowe's, I'm pretty sure they're all marked down cause they had a whole shipment of house plants. So I'm pretty sure they're trying to get rid of that inventory to put in some fresh house plants, which is insane. Cause all the plants they had were literally so good. They also had a string of turtles, which is super duper exciting because I've been wanting one for super duper long. And they finally have one at Lowe's for super duper cheap. So this was a really, really fun shopping video at Lowe's and at the Home Depot. And then we're gonna go to Home Depot. Y'all are gonna, gonna see a beautiful hanging basket, which is a lot of y'all's wishlist plants that y'all are still looking for. And I'm also looking for one too. I didn't got it cause I went kind of crazy and I'm not trying to like, I'm just, I need, I need to like control myself. And there was only one basket. So like, honestly, like, I'm hoping some of us will get it pretty, pretty fast. But y'all are gonna see. Y'all are gonna see what was at the Home Depot and yeah i'm just really really excited i also i did got something though which i will show you guys at the end of this video a little plenty haul or plant haul and something that i got from the hundi ball so yeah let's just go let's jump in. i'm literally so excited okay we're at the new location you guys these lows are just killing it <laughs> well it's another location so i just finished filming another video for um, like yellow yeah, it's already posted if you want to go check it out basically we found some string of turtles and i'm surprised that they have some here you guys like oh my goditos this is so exciting like i just want to scream out of excitement i've been wanting one for so long and now they're like literally right in front of me for 16.98 and they have manjulas and not even just that they got amazing marble queen potos and brazils which are pretty common but look what i found i've never seen this kind of calatio like let me show you too. like there's another one that looks really crazy oh and they got some starlight wait starlight sorry Silver Street Potos. Pretty, pretty insane. They got a prayer plant. Look at this Calatio. Excuse me, but like, it's like making me lose my breath. I'm just so in shock by the variegation. Like, how beautiful. It's only $15.98, and I'm gonna get this one. Like, I already made up my mind. I should probably check. For some pests, but it looks pretty clean to me. But look at them! Oh my gatitos! <sighs> Just so many great stuff. I don't know where to start. And they got some more boxes outside from Costa Farm, so you know it's gonna be crazy. Look at this golden potos, you guys! Beautiful begonia. They got massive. Oh, she's bilingual, period, girl. Low shots. They got massive red marantas, hangy baskets. They even have the smaller versions. I just got one, a little small version, which is pretty cool. They got some different bakiyas at the very top, beautiful classics. Some fiddles we love. Wow. Lots of goodies. They have these massive elephant ear giant bulbs. Mine's already starting to like push out new leaves, which is pretty, really exciting, but look how big this massive ball is. Like, it's huge. It's so big. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. And they got some red marantas. Ooh, what was that? Look at that. $5.98. Ooh, look at that. So like a little bit imperfect. That's kind of cute. Oh, it's 
like half open, which is pretty cool. Oh my god, they got a China doll. <gasps> Stop it. Y'all. <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I've seen these. $5.98. And they look amazing. We might go also to a Home Depot that's nearby. So I'm really, really excited <laughs> to see what they have. They have this nice looking Marble Queen Potos. I need to calm down, but like, uh, I just, I need to control myself. They just have so many good stuff right now. Like, oh, I don't want to unfurl it all the way, but I want to show it to you. Beautiful, beautiful. They got a nice neon potos and a small hangy basket. We got the Cupid pepperoni. I highly recommend that plant. It's so easy to grow and it's beautiful. Look at that. Aww. <laughs> I like when it's a little bit of green. Some ivies. Another red Maranza right there. These massive corn plants are for $35.98. They look really, really, really good. Damn. Some air plants at the very bottom. $3.98. Look at this little squiggly one. This looks like a little octopus. It's really cool. You know, I should probably go plant shopping on Mondays. It is kind of dead and I like it so much better because it'd be packed since it's like spring. Beautiful Jensenos. I like how you can see the root system. If I can pick one up carefully. No, I'm kind of scared I'm going to break it, but you can see the those nice roots. They got a little silver satin scandopsis, $16.98. Beautiful Brazil, neon potos, red marantas. They got some money trees, y'all. $18.98. Oh, look at that. It's nice. Some Drancinas, I love these like pastel, baby blue. And they got like a nice like light pink. Is it for $24.98? Hello? No. <laughs> they got these nice little bonsais for $18.98. So, so nice. They got little misters, $10.98. Ah, so many, so many good stuff. I don't know, it's been a hot minute, you guys, since I've seen like a really good shipment. Look at this beautiful Calatheo. Like, be so for real. How our plants are so beautiful. Look at this one. Super, like, saturated, nice little ficus. And these are for $24.98. Transina. This looks like a... Not a Pearls Enjoy. This is like a Potos Enjoy, $14.98. A Thirsty... Oh, can I get it for clearance? Should I ask if I can get it for clearance? $14.98. I already have a little Cebu Blue, but... I don't know. If I didn't have one, I'll ask. But I don't know, should I save it? I mean, it just needs water. <laughs> Green heart leaf philodendron, marble queen potos, rabbit's foot fern, cute little pepperonia. It's really good. Ooh, look at this marble one. That's beautiful. Love. Little tiny ficus. Look at this snake plant. <laughs> I love plants. I love plants. Spring fever is like literally getting to me so bad right now. Cute little asparagus fern. And then they have a never never plant. Some people get mad when I call it that, but I consider a never never plant. If you Google it, you're gonna see it. It has another like technical, like specific, complicated name. I refuse to call it that way. Never never plants is going to be. Oh, that aglonema. Look at this aglonema. Wow. It's really, really good. I'm just surprised that. Ooh, I, I almost fainted. I thought it was a, a Hoya Compacta, but it's not. I'm just missing that one, y'all. If I find a variegated Hindu rope, I'm gonna like explode. Like, literally explode. This is a really pretty begonia. $7.98. It's a classic, but I've never seen one this healthy. Sorry if I speak funny. I'm working on it. Beautiful plants, beautiful plants. Look at that red princess on the back. Oh. Wow. 
$20.98 for this one. It's a beautiful lemon lime. We've seen a fuller one, so it doesn't look the best, but it's nice and healthy. That's a pretty cool one. Beautiful Manjula for $16.98. I know you guys are screaming because I know some of y'all are in the hunt for a Manjula. Be patient, y'all. They're going to come up, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Manjulas are gorgeous. They're beautiful. And then, uh, this is a little better looking lemon lime philodendron. People, when I post it on Facebook, think it's a uh, neon potos, but a neon potos has a more teardrop shape. If a uh, lemon lime philodendron is more of a heart shape, as you can see. So that's how I, I identify them a little bit, like, because they look pretty similar. They're both super duper bright and beautiful. But yeah. This is a really pretty begonia crotons. Look at this funny guy. <laughs> mm, I can't pronounce that, but it's cute. Beautiful pepperonia. Look at this little polka dot plant. It has one of every color. It has pink, white, hot pink, red. Wow. $5.98. Oh, look, here's another one that's more full. I like how they're almost picked out. Like, that's what I love to see. I want these plants to get like adopted and like homes, you know? I love spring. Good, good stuff. What else can we find? Mm. Oh, massive different back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a neon potos. If you don't have one, you should get one. <laughs> I think everybody should have a neon potos. Here's another. Ooh, hello. This is a more clean potos. Yeah. You can kind of see the teardrop instead of a heart. It's beautiful. Here's a maranta. I'm really sorry for moving the camera too fast. Beautiful. Uh, they're gonna keep it pepperonia. A specialty house plant. $20.98. Look at these different bacchias. These are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. And then here are the string of turtles. Here's a string of turtles. Hey, look, they have more. No more. Look at that. Look at the little babies. $16.98. Obsessed. And then here's another one. They have two of them, y'all. How exciting, how exciting. <laughs> Beautiful ravens. Oh, a little moonlight scandapsis. I'm starting to see less of these, which is kind of scary because I don't have one yet and I'm waiting. I don't know what I'm waiting for, but it's not just, it's not speaking to me yet, but it's beautiful though. Okay. Here's a prayer plant. Look at that. That like sound in the background sounds like white noise for me. We've been like listening to um, <laughs> AC, like, uh, like a window AC for like white noise in the night to sleep. Look at this. Nice mist bottle. That's white noise and it's been helping a lot <laughs> to fall asleep. They got more plants. I got a Marvel Queen photos. Girl, somebody was looking at me so weird <laughs> when I was talking about the AC. Wow. How can I pass this up? I mean, I'm gonna have to pass it up, but. Oh, my gatitos. Oh, my gatitos. So many beautiful plants. Here's a neon photos. This one looks a lot more full. Yes, 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 yes. Here's a Manjula. Wow. This side is insane. It's basically all white. <gasps> oh, she was happy. And the greenhouse, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna probably have to take this one. I'm sorry, like. It's getting a little bit brown, but that's pretty common with Manjulas. 
I have some propagating today, but stop. I have uh, like two trays of Manjula's propagating. It's because they take forever. Like it works, but beautiful balmy spider plants. They do propagate pretty easily, but they take a hot minute to like start to look very nice and lush and viney on a plant. So sometimes if you don't have one, and if you got the money, it's 1000% worth it to buy it because it does take like a hot minute. <laughs> And I say like you want to like see it grow than 1000% but I'm like a little bit of both. Look at that. Oh, I'm so going to take one of these home. They're just so, so beautiful. And I'm slowly growing my Calaita collection. I know it's kind of toxic and dangerous, but what can I say? I'm doing pretty good with them right now. Other, other than the watering, but I'm starting to use distilled water. That's how bad I want them to look beautiful because my, my tap water is not that bad, but they're not a big fan of it. Like they slowly start to show a little bit of like frustration because Kelitas are pretty sensitive with the minerals in the water. <gasps> oh no, this one looks a lot more better. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, crazy, crazy. I didn't even show you guys the Brazils. They're beautiful too. I gotta show them to you, I'm sorry. I just gotta show you. Like, how can you say no to this Brazil? Oh my god. Oops, sorry. Oh. Look at that. Just wild. Like, literally wild. Wow. These look so, so good. And this leaf, and then this one too. So, so good. And then they have some Drancinas, some Ponito Palms which are really, really fun. Ooh, they got like the dark flower anthurium. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm, bromeliads. And that's basically it. Ah, oh, dang it, I think that's basically it. <laughs> I'm kind of sad. But they got some plants in the middle, so we can go ahead and see them. Oh, look at that. This is how they look when they put out new leaves. Saco palms. Monsteras. Is that sport? No, it's just being sick. Peace willies. You can even look in the bird of paradise too. Sometimes they're like, they're variegated with a beautiful like yellow. Or white, just depends. Look at all of this pollen. It's so bad for like, pets. So that's the only thing that I have about them. Wow, these are so big. Look how big these are. I feel like they're sensations, but I think it's just from the greenhouse. Like they're getting like everything they need, like light and nutrients. I want a sensation so bad. I just don't know if these are sensations. Usually the, the leaves are thicker. These are very flimsy. But yeah. So I'm gonna get one of those calatheas. And... Okay. Look at that. Yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> I'm so curious what's in those boxes. Oh, this neon photos. And this Marvel Queen photos is crazy. So are you. Okay, I can barely see the phone. And like they have these fresh shipments. It's in the back. So it kind of looks like we're like we're doing something bad. But look, they have some good stuff. Man, look at Oh my god. Also, um, the plant was on clearance. Oh!
Let's go. They got a big basket of a super blow as well. And they got some tiny plants too. They're gonna get big so bad. I don't know if I'm gonna get yelled at. <laughs> she looks pretty chill. I highly doubt it. <sighs> These locations are getting fresh shipments, you guys. <sighs> There's only one super blue. I already have one, I know, but that one's bigger. Okay, that's enough. They have a lot of cool stuff, though. What does that say? Kit 10, 1, 2. I'm dizzy. Okay. They got a rattlesnake Calathea. How cute. Yo, there's so many spider webs. Ooh. This big. She's getting too much sun. Okay. Ooh. Chameleon. Look at these lemon meringue pothos. Look at that. She's doing something weird. She wants to be different. 1998. Look at that. But yeah, I was gonna say that the plant, like the, the plant was so healthy. Like they should not, and it was not on the clearance rack. And they put it on clearance. I don't know. I don't know. And I was telling my boyfriend if I should go back. And he literally said no. I'm just like so sad. I'm just so What is it? Is that something burning? <laughs> There's so many new plant varieties popping up. Like sometimes I just get so curious. Like, is that a new variety? Cause it'd be like that sometimes. Like if you get on the Facebook group page on big box stores, the amount of unicorns that people have been finding is insane. This one's really pretty though. It's so pretty. So pretty. One of my favorite photos at the moment. It's so pretty. Monster Uh They got some money trees and these forts. No. Just the usuals. Not bad. Excuse me. And they still didn't let me go back to the store. Look at this massive. Is this a sensation? <laughs> it's big. We should be on clearance. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this nice network collector. These are 15. Yeah, 1598. Lots of beautiful varieties. Well, options. Bird's nest ferns. They got some different bakias. This one's huge. Very luscious. Calatheas, Birkins, Golden. Big Boston's in the bottom. Look, a little variegated Cupid of Pepperonia. Oh no, my bad. Variegated Turf Drop. That's my mistake. Mmm. Oh, this is a pretty ivy. It's like variegated. Not as crazy as the Lowe's, but they, they, ooh, I'm glitching. They do have a nice shipment that we just saw. Also a steel blue. I just don't know if they're gonna let me pull it out. <sighs> I guess it's okay. So I don't go too crazy on buying stuff, but. Ooh, look at this chocolate quarter line. If you don't have one, I highly recommend you to get one. They're so beautiful. Beautiful Syngonium. This one's pretty. It's a ficus, y'all. We love trees. Beautiful alocasia. Another calathea. Calate What's I call it featherleaf calathea. Ooh. Aesthetic soak. Insect into insecticide super soak. Kills insects. In minutes. Thrips, aphids, spider mites. Oh, this is what people were talking about. How much is it? Yeah. Thank you. People tell me to use it a lot, and it is spring. I probably should buy instead of a plant something that can help my plants stay healthy. <laughs> Since it's gonna be getting wild pretty soon, this is like stuck in there. Uh, I'm so sorry if I'm chewing super loud. I'm chewing gum for stress. Look at this. Oh, we love a helpful boyfriend. Oh, you look so good in that shirt. Where you got it from? David. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I did not pay him to say that. Just kidding. Look at this. I've never seen a little PPP. And what? Ooh, whoa. 
Wow, that's really cool. Alrighty, guys. And that's basically There's not that many crazy stuff. Boyfriend's checking the price on that. I might take that with me. It's a big bottle. Hopefully, it's like nine bucks. <laughs> My boyfriend's literally mimicking me in the background. <laughs> So this is what I got at the Home Depot. It was not even planned, but it was literally right there. And I was like, all of y'all preach about this is Captain Jack's insecticide super soap or just, some, yeah. And it says that it treats white flies, phytomites, aphids, scale, and thrips, as well 30 other insects. Really, really good. Big ass, oh, my bad. Big bottle. <laughs> I came out like 10 or 11 bucks. And I would've got more, but I don't know if it really, really works out. So I am using it. As a preventative, it's also used like as a like to take care of something. And we are entering the the pest season, those warm temperatures. Those that's what all these pests love. So I'm really <laughs> trying to stay on top of everything and I'm already kinda halfway and it's over here where it's at. I just spray my, my collection every now and then, especially my calicas and my marantas, since they are prone for spermites. And Talking about calyxes and spider mites, I did got this beautiful calathea at the Lowe's and it was for clearance, you guys. I found out what it's called. It's called the Flame Star Beauty, I believe. And there's the boyfriend. Mm. Also, I am taller. <laughs> what happened, Mama? Oh, you want to show you Godzilla? Mm. <laughs> we went to watch the movie multiple times, girl. Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> you got the little cute Godzilla container. It's a big container, it's like a two liter. Uh, it's less than two liter, but it's basically like in three sips. Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really good movie. But um, yeah, I got this Flame Star Beauty. It was supposed to be 16 bucks, but I got it for $8, then including tax. So that's a really, really good deal, you guys. Y'all saw that Manjula, and I I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that Manjula and the Stringer Turtles were on clearance, so you, you can just imagine. Wow. Uh, but it's okay though, because I already have a sugar turtles, I already have Anjulas, I need to calm down. This is beautiful though, I'm obsessed with this. And now that I have the Captain Jacks as a preventative, it's just gonna make my life a little bit easier. Talking about all of this as well, I like to use, I like to go ahead and use uh, rubbing alcohol diluted. I used to use 50%, but now I'm using 70%. It's a little bit more concentrated, but that's what I use to take care of my bugs, aphids, spider mites. And it has a soft body. And my Drancina was infested badly. I was with a lot of other plants months back with melibugs and that diluted rubbing alcohol has saved a lot of my house plants. Right now, my Global Green, which is doing something really, really weird. Hey, baby. Um, is having some melibug situation, you guys can see the white stuff in there. I had to go ahead and spray with rubbing alcohol. I just kind of like painted the butt because I got to go pretty high. But that is basically the plant haul and what I got from the Home Depot. Really good purchases, really, really exciting. And I cannot believe that even happened. At those, I mean, it's springtime and it's so windy outside right now. I love it when it's windy and a blue sky. It just feels nice to like fly a kite. But super excited. I just love spring. Summer kind of scary a little bit, but room to be we're going to be seeing a lot of amazing plant shipments. I've seen on Facebook a lot that a lot of you are finding, and y'all have been telling me too in the comment section, a lot of you have been finding Thai constellations at Walmart for 40 bucks. Like that's so wild, so wild. And yeah, I'm kind of surprised that the elbow's not there because the elbow was the first one and then it was a Thai, but I guess the Thai is more like, I think the elbow is not really stable to propagate but yeah thank you so much for watching something positive rights to each and every single one of you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye